get on up to Lesson on Coding. Hey guys, and welcome back to Lesson on Coding. My name is Ryan Lesson. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over a commonly asked front-end interview question that I've seen being thrown around through different companies like Google, Amazon, and a whole bunch of various other ones, etc., etc. So this front-end interview question is basically composed of building a UI widget, and let me show you what I mean right here. So as you can see, this interview question would ask you to build a star rating component. So basically, you would have a component when you hover over it, the rating would increase or decrease. Then you could click it. So let's say we give it a four stars, and it would hold that rating. So pretty simple to do, but there's definitely some state to do it. Like there's definitely some state. It's composed of you know, using state and are you doing it most efficiently? So we're gonna go over my solution for how to do this. And without any further ado, let's get right down to it. So let me switch over to my one that's not working. So what are we gonna do? So right now I just have mocked up some classes on all the UI out there and I already have the SVG for the star ready to go in the star component. So first things first, let's get these stars on the page so we can see them. So I'm gonna come on down here to my app function. I'm gonna go right here into this flex container and I'm just going to add, um, well, how many stars? Let's take a step back here. How many stars do we wanna add here? We wanna add five stars. So we're first gonna come in here and, now, and we're gonna set that. So let's give it cot stars equals, and then we're just gonna use an array. So there's gonna be five stars. So we're gonna come here and do stars.map. Okay, so we're gonna come here and we're gonna get the star and then we're gonna get the um, index of that star. So we're gonna come down here and we're going to just use the star component right there. Perfect, and let's give it also a key and this key in this case will be the index which will be the unique key for it so let's click away and see what we have so there we go we have our five stars on the page so next up let's get into the star component itself and start adding you know state to it so we could come here and again we need a couple of things we need to be able to hover over it and have the hovering move with the stars so we need two states. We need a state of uh, like not filled and filled, which I already have CSS classes defined for that, and we'll come back to that later. And we also need a way to hold on to that rating. So let's come into our app function and let's start creating that state. So we're gonna go right here and we're going to add const, and we're gonna be using um, Oh, first we need to import use state and use effect, which I already did above. So make sure you go ahead and do that. We're gonna come in here and then we're gonna deconstruct rating and set rating from use state zero. Okay, so there we go. So now we have our rating and now we also need our hover state. So we're gonna have hover state and we're gonna have set hover state. And we're gonna also do new states zero. Okay, there we go. So it's just complaining that we haven't used it yet. So now that we have all these here, let's go into our star component. So first things first, we're gonna come here and then we're gonna add a couple things right here. But first, let's get into what we're gonna pass down to it. So within the star component, let's just kind of talk about what we're gonna be passing down. So we're gonna pass down a on mouse enter function, which from here will just run uh, hover states, set hover states, state, set hover state i, which will just set the hover state to the current star's index. And then we're gonna do on mouse leave which we'll just do set hover state, hover state, and we're gonna set it to zero. So when we leave the stars, I'm gonna click my data quickly show you, when we leave and we don't have anything clicked, we want it just to kind of default back to whatever that rating was. So that's the logic behind setting that to zero. 
Uh-oh, we have an error. Oh, okay, we have to make this a callback function. Excuse me, I don't know why I did not, <laughs> I forgot to do that. So quickly go ahead and do that, there we go. There we go, okay, and then we need the onClick function. So this is how we're gonna set the state of the star rating. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do set rating. And then we're just gonna give it I, which will be the rating that we've clicked on. So when we click on that specific star, we'll know the index of that star, then we'll just set the rating to that star. And then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna set a rating. So this rating will be the rating to hold on to. Okay, so that rating will be either hover state. So it's either going to be the current hover state. And if the hover state is zero, so this is again means, so right now the rating is one, is zero in this case, which in this case corresponds with just one star. If I was to hover over anything and the hover state is, great, is greater than zero, then that would evaluate the true and then there would be showing more than one star. So we're going to do hover state or rating right there. So that's going to take care of all of our hovering. Perfect. All right. And that's about all we need for right there. And we also need one last thing and we need kind of a star ID. So the star ID is what we're going to use to kind of compare to see if the rating needs to, you know, change or whatnot, or excuse me, if the hover state needs to change or whatnot. So we're going to come in here and we're just going to really pass it on. Okay. Perfect, so now let's go and let's deconstruct that whole, all those props that we passed down. So we have, we have star ID, we have rating, we have on mouse enter, we have on mouse leave, and then we have one more which is on click. Okay, so now let's come into here and then let's add all these to this div. So right here, we're going to need on mouse enter, which will just default to on mouse enter. So we're going to pass in the function from above on mouse leave. Same thing here. Okay. And then we're also going to pass in on click, which is just going to pass in. You might have guessed it on click. Perfect. So now that we have all that there. Next thing we need to do is click here. So next thing we need to do is be able to set the classes to show the hovering state. So right now it is doing everything we want. It's setting the state correctly, but the problem is there's no UI correspondence to what's going on in the controller here. So we're in the JS, yeah, the JSX here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly go over what they do to set the style of classes. So I'm gonna come to this div and then I'm just gonna add a Oh, excuse me, not in the div. I'm going to come to this SVG and I add in a class name. And it's just going to equal style class, which is going to be a variable that we define right here. So const style equals. And then just to show you, I'll go quickly into the CSS to show you what I have going here. So I already have this predefined for the colors. We have star rating filled, which will be gold, and star rating blank, which will be gray. So we just need to use these classes. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna do, the default will be star rating gray, no, star rating, um, I already forgot, it. blank, star rating blank. And then we're just gonna run a quick conditional statement. So if, we're gonna check if star, if rating is greater than star ID. Yeah, is greater than or equal to star ID then we're just going to do style class is equal to star rating filled. Okay. And now let's see what we got. Uh-oh. What went wrong here? Style class, style class. Assign the constant. Oh, excuse me. We reassign a constant variable. Classic type script error, error. So change that to a let. Okay. So as you can see, right now it's defaulting to one star, which is a good sign. Because again, our rating state is defaulted to zero. So let's come here and let's hover over it. 
As you can see, everything's working as intended, and let's click five star. And move away, and you can see the rating is held. So that's it, that's a real, you know, quick rundown of how to build this star rating component in React. My next video, I'll be showing you how to do this in Angular. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day. Woo!